Well, I think today I'm just going to take out a couple. I got out here kind of late. Uh, reason doesn't matter, but it was a significant reason at the time. And today I brought these two saws. The little 562 with the Husqvarna light bar, which is a Sujihara uh, bar painted in husky colors. And that 394. Now I did not do a final tune because I have to break the plastic out of the, the tuning screws on that carburetor. But uh, picked up a 1500 or so RPMs just by changing the carburetor alone. Which means I was pretty much on the right track on what was going on with that saw. But I'd like to put it in the wood today. And of course what that means is actually taking down trees. May not be the conventional trial by fire, but it's a trial by fire. And maybe I'll take that big one down there first, because if I start dropping these on top of it, it'll turn into a pain in the neck to, to skid. Let me go look at that tree. So there's a nice saw log right there. That's a decent tree. But I'm going to do up that bank at a different point in time. There's probably 10 going across I'm going to take down but I've got to sort of cut a road in there, just like I did down here. Let's take a look at this one. So there's a saw log, probably a 16-footer from there to there, and then another saw log up to there. You know, actually, it wants to go right there. I think I'm going to let it, too. Look at that. There's not a lot there, so it's going to hit the top of that beach possibly maybe i can drop a little further over yeah this is i think this is the one we're going to take i'm going to drop it right into the sun you look at it from here it doesn't look like much of a tree at all and you can see by the lean i'm not going to need a whole lot of wedge on that one um, i'm probably going to have the hinge out in the root flare more and uh, do sort of a modified cut in the front where I kind of rotate down a little bit. You know, a little steeper angle on top, a little angle on the bottom because I have the root flare to work with. And then the bore cut, if I can get it all the way through it. And then once I've got the bore cut and the face cut in there, then I'm going to get out of that tree with a saw, sit back and take a look and then uh, cut the hold wood in the back or the back strap. What do you Ever you want to call it trigger wood and then go tearing down the hill because I don't want that thing to bounce and come back at me.
saw is not right. It's still, it's got some kind of an issue where it wants to stall. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start the bore cut. So you can kind of see how I do that, assuming the saw cooperates. And then I'll move the camera over to the other side. And we can watch this thing form. But I'm going to leave a fair amount of, uh, of uh, trigger wood in the back. But I'm not going to leave a lot of hinge. than I probably should but I did cut through that one little spot you know you can see where I got to right to here so I only have about maybe three inches of hinge I'm hoping it tears right off the stump right there and uh, we'll see try to get a quick one down a little smaller trees and I'll run the smaller saw what I'm going to try to do is uh, I'm going to center right down there between those trees maybe I'll break out some of those uh, um, beech trees I got to cut them down so there's going to be a I mean I could center it over there I guess that's probably a cleaner place but I want to put it right in between those I know there's gonna be a lot of top interference yeah, and this one here shows signs of possible being hollow again and since the way the stump is open down here I'm not going to be able to do much of a Humboldt style cut there I'm gonna to have to do pretty much what I always do but I may cut the hinge back a little bit more on this one it's got the right kind of lean but before I do anything, I guess I better start cleaning this mess up, right?
Yeah, my guess is y'all going to ask the same question I did about that car. Why bother with a big one? And that little fight if you keep up like that.